if you are looking for some of the best video editor available for your iPad, then you are in the right place. Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam. In this video, we're going to talk about VN video editor for iPad. And if you are new to this channel, I would recommend you to subscribe to iPad Essential for more such iPad related tips, tricks and productivity video. Okay, so now let's quickly jump into our iPad screen and let's see what this video editor is all about. Okay, we can see our iPad screen. Now the next thing here I'm gonna do is, first of all, let me actually visit App Store so that I can show you how you can download it. I would say download is a straightforward process. After opening App Store, let's tap on the search bar and look for vn video editor and there we go so here you can see this is one of such app that have got almost five star rating and that to 1.4 million rating so this app is really that competent guys so if you are really uh, looking for some of the best app so this app can be the app that you should have okay so here you can see i already have installed this app so that's why it is not showing me the get option but in your case you know if you are downloading this app for the first time you will see option to get in my case it is update so let me actually update this app as well okay so after the app got updated you will see in your ipad screen the icon of vn editor let's tap on it and there we go so vn editor i would say is not completely free but at the same time you know give you access or give you chance to try it until you get satisfied how much you can try well you can create up to 100 projects which is really a very generous deal guys i mean 100 projects is really a lot to try an app you know and i would say you will not regret let's say if you buy this app after 100 project because then you will be kind of you know satisfied or dissatisfied with this product or at least you will have complete realization that whether you're going to use this app or not now to get started here you can see we have got so many options uh, we can also do photo edit if we need we also have option of this a uh, beats clip create template overlay and storage but here uh, let me quickly jump into new project because i you know want to focus more on how we can create or edit video so in order to create or edit video all we need to do is we need to click on new project and then here we have got these two options and then i would like to go with more typical approach which is a video based and then i can click on save and here um, there are some uh, pictures that I used in past to create a video but this time I would like to import more and for that probably I need to tap on these three dots and then I can click on import and then from here I can import more videos and the good thing here is you can also import videos directly from cloud drive so let's say for example you have certain videos in your cloud drive and then this is not only limited to iCloud but you can also access your files from let's say OneDrive so let's get one such file from OneDrive and for that I guess it needs to be somewhere in files and then let me look for shared folder and here let's go inside iPad Essential and let's say this is the video file that I would like to add it here so I'm gonna click on open and now it will download this video file directly from OneDrive. So since I am also including some of cloud file, maybe it may take some time. But of course, when we talk about the offline uh, files and folder, it is pretty easy actually. And now here we can see the option of open. So let me tap on it. And seems like getting file from online is really taking too much of time. So probably I'm going to skip it and let's actually go for stock footage here and we do have these many so i would like to add them to my timeline so let's click here on next and now they are in my timeline and i really like the whole interface of this app because this is very customizable i mean if you want this typical interface you can work with it if you you know want to make it uh, like this where the preview is toward left you can do that and then you can also adjust the size of it by simply tapping on this divider and then we also have option to do it like this 
but uh, you know i generally prefer the more typical way which is like this so uh, let me also you know take it here okay so here what we see is a very familiar uh, interface that generally we also see in a pc or any good uh, video player app in our desktop and same we are seeing here so if i tap here on play button it will play the clip then um here we can see we also have got these different different layers okay so let's start with the last layer which is of volume layer where you have option to increase the volume then we have got this video layer where you tap on this plus button you should able to add more content to your timeline then here we have got this graphics layer where you can add a different type of graphics to start with which is also i would say kind of cool let's say you know you would like to add something and here we can see you can also slide your graphics uh, by yourself and then um, we can see actually you know we have got these option which is replace then uh, motion you know how you want the graphics and then here you can actually also see preview of your graphics which is really awesome guys because i typically use premiere pro to edit my videos and while applying these graphics i can't see preview of it for that i need to manually do it so it is that cool guys i mean you really can see it this is the preview that i want we can click on apply to all or apply okay and then one more good thing that i see here is that it also comes with keyframe so keyframe is really advanced tool i would say uh that really lets you customize the object or video that will change over the period of time so that's why it is keyframe okay so here what we did is we made some changes in scale of this object and also maybe i can place it here for example and then as we proceed further let's say here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add another keyframe and then here uh in this particular keyframe i would like to place it here and maybe i'm gonna make it small as well so this is just for this demo purpose i just wanted to show you the capability uh maybe this is not the perfect one i would say okay so here you can see we have added two keyframe and now if i play you can see both fade as well as this keyframe uh effect that we have added came into effect and it really look very simple to do okay okay so we also have an option to add title so here we can tap on this text and then title now let's say i would like to add the following title and there we go okay so here we can see we have successfully added this title so what i'm gonna do here is let me tap on it and maybe i'm gonna change the color of it so here we have option to change the color i'm gonna make it black or maybe purple and then let's also place it on the top of this graphics now let's actually adjust the position of it as well let's say i would like to only show this title when the transition of this graphics got ended which is up to here okay and now i would like to start this weekly blog title and let's also make it small so that it can fit inside and i know this does not look that perfect but here my point is not to make a perfect video but to show you the capability of this app so in this way we can add text and then of course we can also add uh, music here and then you're gonna see some of a uh, built-in music also available here i'm just choosing any one and then here you can also preview it now i'm gonna choose this one and then let's click on OK. And now here we also have got some uh, music related option. And uh, let's also talk about transition. So if I tap here on plus, which is, you know, the option between two uh, videos. So you can actually apply any of these effects, as you can see here, based on your requirement. Now, let's also talk about some of basic option, for example, we can split it easy just you need to move your timeline and then again tap on split and then this will give you option to split it and the good thing here is it is automatically you know moving the clip and then you can also trim your clip like this simply by tap and drag and then um yeah you can see you have so many options available okay now one more thing i wanted to talk about uh is 
that not only you can create a landscape video but if you go on the top and if you tap here on original here you will see there are so many different type of frames available okay so let's say i would like to create a video for youtube i'm gonna choose 16 ratio 9 and then you also have option to enable hdr so here you can see it's going to add more effects to your video and then uh, you also have an option to control the fps so let's enable hdr and control fps and there we go and now since this one is more of an overview video i'm not going to go on all these basic options because they are pretty straightforward for example controlling volume or cropping you can do it with ease okay such as i just you know rotated it you just saw we have applied almost everything let's click on export which is on the top so let's tap here on export and now here you can see sdr enable file size will be this much and then um, you also have an option to export audio only now here in export setting you can see it is exporting video in 1080p which is full hd in 30 frame per second let's go manual so here you can increase resolution up to 4k which is really nice and then you can also control the fps so let's go for 60 frame per second which really make this player a top notch because lot many player have got a limitation of exporting your video in let's say full hd or even hd and then they also not going to give you more frames okay so let's go with the full strength and then of course when we go with the full strength you will see the size of the video will also increase now let me tap on export and there we go so here we can see um we are exporting this video in 4k which is really nice and i am expecting my ipad to handle it easily because this is powered by apple m4 and there we go so here you can see we have created a video using vm app now let me actually uh, you know click here on saved now let me actually play it and this is how it look so we have added this graphics and then this text and after that i guess we add one more transition we also have added music to it so this is how the whole video look like and to summarize i would like to say i am quite impressed with this vn editor i mean really from ux to interface to ease of editing video to some of advanced features like keyframe and also exporting videos in 4k 60 fps is really awesome however like any other product this product is also not perfect we saw we face issues while importing video from cloud storage and also i couldn't find option of rearranging the layers let's say you know you want graphic layer on the top of text layer you cannot do it so overall if you are looking for a video editor in your ipad you should definitely consider have a look at vn editor because first of all it's gonna give you free access up to 100 project which is really very generous number and you're not going to see any kind of watermark even in 4k 60 fps export so that is really awesome guys so that's also wrap up this video on one of the best video editor available for ipad hope you like it and if you have got any comment or you want me to cover let's say how we can create video for instagram in this video editor do let me know in comment down below i will definitely come up with extension or part b of this video also make sure you subscribe to ipad essential and i will see you around till then you take care and bye bye